So you can see here that I'm writing a task. Uh, I've got my subject, I've got my due date, my start date, the priority. And what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to start categorizing and putting my tasks into categories. Um, the obviously benefit is that I can organize my work, see my work, and see what most of my tasks are being spent on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my categories. So I go to the bottom right hand side where it says categories, I'm going to click on that. And you can see here that there's an array of categories to choose from. Now, I don't actually like these ones. I want to, I want to create my own. So I'm going to click on Master Category List. I'm going to highlight all of these, and I'm just going to delete those. And it's as easy to fill in your own and just add them like that. As you can see, I've got all my categories now, so I've uh, chosen things. And look, I can add those and take those away anytime I like. So again, remember, it's clicking on Categories. Now this is writing a presentation, so which falls under course writing. So I click on OK, and you can see there that it's now going to be categorised. So I save and close that, and what you'll find is when you go to look at your categories, you'll be able to see your work organised. I've now gone to my task option on the left hand side, you can see I'm in the simple list on the left here. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to click on by category. And when I click on by category, what you'll see it does it actually splits them up by the categories and the tasks I'm doing. So if you can imagine you get a lot of a lot of tasks here, you'll actually be able to see what tasks relate to what projects. You can also overview at the end of the month what you spent most of your time on. So there you go, categorizing tasks.